we started to work on a new model that we can use in uh, my robot lab and um, we started to use this uh, 3D scanned InMove robot and it's uh, Gail's uh, uh, robot that has been 3D scanned on one of his events and he put up this uh, nice uh, 3D model and uh, the first thing I did was to just download it and uh, then import it into Blender and as you can see it's uh, a it has a lot of detail and it also has this platform that it stands on and as you can see if I try to rotate it it contains almost uh, 500,000 vertexes and almost a million faces and if we want to use it for simulation that's quite a lot so what I did is that I started with uh, first removing the base and then I used this uh, tool here, it's called Dilute, oh, sorry, Decimate. And using Decimate, you can remove uh, a lot of the faces without losing too much of, uh, of the quality. So I have this uh, virtual inmo now. And as you can see, it's uh, much easier now to, to, for example, rotate it or use it. And it has uh, 46,000 faces and 23,000 vertexes, so it's quite a bit less. The file went down to about 3 megs instead of uh, 160 megs or so. So at least uh, Blender can handle this model quite well and the next step is to take it into a game engine called jmonkey engine so I need to do a new project and I pick a, a basic game and it's uh, just uh, to get all the structures here so I will call this uh, in move uh, project and it will create uh, the structures that I need uh, so now I have a folder here for project assets and it's important to have this structure in the project so the next thing I want to do is to create a new scene and I create a new empty scene and I just call it uh, move scene So now you can see I have this block black uh, box here. It's the scene where everything will show up. And I can go back to the explorer here. And here I can place models. So I uh, will go to the explorer. And uh, I have my blender files here. So I take this uh, virtual InMove Blender and just uh, copy it and put it into the models folder. So now I have it here and the next step is to convert it to a J3O binary. And J3O is uh, the format that all objects should have uh, in uh, in Blender. So you can see the scene is a J3O object and the virtual InMove is a J3O obje object. And now I can add this model to the scene composer. So it should show up here very soon. Or perhaps I need to turn on the light. Yes, that was what I needed. So now I have this virtual InMove robot here in the scene and as you can see now I'm in the scene explorer and here I can see the different objects in the scene 
and what's missing now from this model is uh, the bones so I will try to make a new model and put the bones into it <laughs> 